Okay, well, I forgot to get rid of the <laughs> my image down there in the corner because sometimes I run into problems when I'm doing these videos. Anyway, I'm trying to make a, a short tutorial today and I'm going to go kind of quick because these files are huge. These video files are huge. Um, but anyway, uh, there was a fellow uh, who wanted to make a skin for the Manchester City Football Club. It's a football uh, team or organization in England, I think it is. Anyway, so the first thing that you're going to want to, want to do is what I've already done, is create a folder up here. Uh, at least this is what I do. I create a folder on my desktop because, hey, I don't have to search. I got multiple drives on my machine, so I don't have to search all over the place looking for it. Uh, but whatever my uh, skin that I'm creating, I always create a, a folder for that skin. So anyway, here's the Manchester City FC folder. And uh, I've already opened it, so I'm going to pull this up here. Okay, inside I created uh, a few more folders. Because uh, I'm one of those type that I like to be organized, and I don't like a bunch of files all in one folder, and trying to have to scan through them and, and see what I need. So uh, here's the DDS folder, and what that is is after you've taken the truck template in to Photoshop and you've done everything that you're going to do to it, now you got to save it to a DDS. Well, like I say, instead of having the DDS in here, uh, where I might confuse it with the template, which I wouldn't, but I'm just saying, it, you know, the it can happen. Uh, well, here's the, the like I say, the, the DDS file. Uh, and if you're wondering why that's there's a file in here, because I've already actually ran through this once to make sure everything works. Of course, the one you're seeing here is not the one that's going to be uh, used. I'm actually going to create a new one. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I will just delete this dude, get rid of it, because I'm not even going to be using that one. Uh, and then this folder here done, you don't have to do that. That's just something that I do because after I get the finished product and I go in game and I do a screenshot, that's where I like to do these. So you can see here, uh, you know, what the, what it would look like on the truck after everything is said and done. Uh, now here is an important folder that you should create. So here again, you don't have all these files in this main area here. Uh, these are the graphics. Uh, see the logos and stuff um, that you are going to use in the skin. Um, and then now this is this is what's really interesting to me is this call this is a paint.net image so apparently uh, even though I'm using Photoshop and I and I save uh, save the DDS file it still seems to change it into a paint.net I don't know so for you guys that use paint.net I guess <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's advantage, I don't know. Anyway, here's the actual template, and you're probably wondering, oh, well, where did you get the MCFC template? Uh, well, it's not the the MCFC template. It's the Outlaw uh, 379 that came with the mod that's on the Outlaw forums. So this is the actual uh, template for Outlaws 379. All I did was go into that folder. Thank you, Outlaw, for providing the template. Uh, I copied it, then brought it over here, and then I just simply renamed it. Anyway, so now I'm going to go ahead and close this because I really don't need this folder open anymore. Uh, I have Photoshop already open. Okay, now you're probably going, oh, crap, look at all these graphics all over it. Well, this is not what it's going to look like when you first open the template. When you first open the template, all the graphics won't be there, of course, uh, but you will see the little sketches or drawings like this. This is how it appears. And the first thing you're going to want to do right off the bat, now over here on the right hand side, uh, in Photoshop, the template layers are, well, you can see it just says layer seven, layer six, layer five, layer four, and this one was layer three. In paint.net it actually says like I've done here a 63 inch flat top uh, this would be 63 inch uh, stand up and so on but it would actually say that if you were using paint.net and GIMP I have no idea how, how it shows but anyway like I say uh, once you get your 
uh, template in, into Photoshop, select whatever cab you're wanting to use. I prefer myself the 63 inch flat top. Okay, then above the template, say like if you were even going to do this one, make sure uh, that you create a brand new layer and call it face color layer and fill it in with the color that you want the truck to be, but it has to be above these these templates. So I'm going to close that off because I'm not using that one. But as you can see, I created it, called it base color because that's what it is, and filled it in with the color that I want the truck to be. And the way that I got the uh, truck color, as you see this graphic right here, their team color is kind of a light blue, and I have the team, actual the original graphic up here. I just went in here with my uh, eyedropper tool, it might be called Color Pick Artists, clicked on that, and well, uh, let's see, I'm going to do it, I'll do it right now. Oops, why am I, oh, I guess I did not have that layer. There we go. Now you see over here that my color now turned to blue. That's how I got the color for the base color here. Okay, so now, uh, I'll show you how that looks. See, this is how uh, it'll look once you get your base color filled in. And you, uh, if I didn't have any graphics on here at all, if all I had was just this blue layer, and then I saved it as a DDS, and then I took it into ATS Studio, and did what I had to do in there, and I finally ended up saving it as the mod file, the SDS file, and I loaded this into Photoshop, then uh, when you go to select your paint, in the column over here where you have all your paint choices, the color would just be this the truck, the whole truck would be this color blue. I'm not saying the gas tanks, excuse me, and the steps and all that. You actually have to choose from the steps and from the gas tank whether you want chrome or you want painted. If you choose painted, this is the color that it would be. Anyway, uh, I don't want to spend too much time on that. Okay, graphic-wise, what I've uh, done here is I've taken that image and I just simply made copies. So I'm gonna click them off and on here. And one of the things you wanna to do too, at least I do, because it helps me keep myself organized. See, I can look over here and this says Team Pass. Well, that's just short for passenger side. And then this one up here, of course, is the driver's side. Whatever you do, I don't care if you're working on the driver's side first or you're working on the passenger side first, Whatever you do on one side, you have to mirror the other. Uh, now let me uh, get this layer down again, okay, so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, now the <laughs> reason I like Photoshop so well over uh, Paint.net. Now, if you guys out there know how to do this in Paint.net, hey, I may switch to Paint.net, I don't know. but in paint.net it seems like you have to use I'll just kind of do it like you come up here in marquee tool and then you have to do this and then you got two little arrows over there that you got to click on in order to move the darn graphic and that just that drives me crazy uh, and in Photoshop I just get my make sure I'm on the selection or yeah the selection tool I just simply click on the graphic that I want and look see the it's it's selected and I go over here to go on driver's side, and there it is. It's selected. I don't have to put marquees around it. I don't have to click on another um, tool anyway. That's getting off the, the thing. But this, that's why I use Photoshop because, well, I've used it since version four, and it's what I'm familiar with. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I took that graphic here and made copies, and. You'll see that it's kind of feathered here, and I'm assuming that GIMP and uh, we'll see paint.net can do it, but I put a layer mask on here so I can kind of feather the edges down, you know, a little bit. But anyway, I simply positioned the graphic uh, where I wanted it. Now, this one on the driver's side uh, is not going to be maybe what you want to say as pretty as the one that's going to be on the passenger side because the, the driver's side over here, there's this door. So you'll probably have the line of the door going through it, but, you know, that's neither here nor can't do anything about that. Uh, 
so the main logo, which is here, this is how it originally was. So I made a copy of this and then I reduced it down the, and I placed it here. Now you can place it anywhere you want to. I just thought it looked good here. That I duplicated that layer and I placed it over here on the driver's side because like I say, you have whatever you do on one side, you have to mirror on the other side. And then this graphic here, okay, this is the way it originally was. I made a duplicate of that layer and then I, I'll show you, click this so you can see what I'm talking about. I shrunk it down and placed it there. I then made a duplicate of that layer and I placed it over here. So like I say, just mirror whatever you do on one side. It doesn't matter which side you start on. Once you get one side done, then just duplicate those layers and put them on the passenger side. Okay, and this is just, you know, uh, all programs have the text tool. So the one thing you have to watch out though for on the passenger side is this window. And this is the door handle right here. Uh, now, it's not a problem where I've got this place because this doesn't interfere. But see on the driver's door, there, there isn't that little window. And originally when I was working with uh, the memorial skin, I wanted the logo of my dad to be right dead center on the door. Well, on the driver's side, it's great. It works beautifully. But over here, if you put it dead center, uh, this window cuts into it. So I don't recommend and if you, but if you are going to put a logo or something on the door, make sure that you place it on the passenger side here where the door handle doesn't cut it off, that window doesn't cut it off, and then place it in the exact same spot over here on the, on the driver's side. Okay, and then, like I say, you, you know, the number of the truck, uh, that's whatever you want it to be. My number happens to be seven. I love seven. And the other thing that you may want to put on now, I'm not going to put these on. Well, since this is an experiment, um, uh, just showing here, this is what I have on my Oregon Ducks truck. This is, and, and so, like one person already noticed that I have O dot on there instead of US dot. It's a United States Department of Transportation. That is the proper thing to put on there, not O dot. I just put that on my Oregon truck because it is an Oregon truck. It's a game and I can do it. <laughs> you know, I'm an Oregonian and, you know, anything I can do to make my truck more Oregonian, I do. So anyway, um, I'm not going to not going to change this. Practice. Actually, I don't even really have to put it on, but I'm going to do it just for this tutorial. OK, and that is all you have to do, guys, is when you bring your graphics in. And like I say, the originals are going to be, you know, big. Uh, just make a duplicate layer of it and then turn that original one off. Go to your duplicate layer and just downsize them to fit. Okay, once you've done that, okay, make sure that you do this, what I'm gonna do here, your base color layer. Make sure you turn that baby all the way back up. Because <laughs> if you don't, you know, the, uh, the template is gonna show through and it's gonna look horrible. Okay, so now we got to this part, you know, we're fairly happy with what we're doing. So now what we do is I always save what I've done here and I'm in Photoshop, so I save as a PSD. Now I'm gonna save it as a DDS. So see, here's that DDS folder I was telling you about. I click on there and I don't need to have template on there. I'm just gonna put, uh, and I'll put maybe blue because that's the color of the truck. So if I ever wanted to change the color, you know, maybe the red or green or whatever, that just helps me know that, that this particular DDS file is for that uh, particular uh, setup. Okay, and this is what sucks because I've, ah, there's my save. I can barely see it. I can say I, I wished I had, I don't really remember how to turn that off. Uh, okay, now, Window should have popped up here, and I did not see it pop up. Hold on, let's try this again. I may have clicked something wrong. Oh, yeah. Pardon me. Let me delete this. I forgot to change this to the DDS. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. 
Mm, okay, this happens to be for some reason Photoshop, and I don't know why. So I'm just going to put a little uh, letter after it. That changes the name just enough. Or actually, no. Let me put a 1, because this will be like version 1. Okay, now I come over here and click Save. Now this window pops up. Now this may, if you're using Paint.net, it's not going to show this. Actually, I kind of like Paint.net's thing that pops up here a little better. Uh, and the settings will be somewhat different. Uh, the one, I guess the main thing that you need in this box here, I know it's too tiny for you to see, but it's DXT5. That is, I guess it's like a higher format or better than... Uh, well, what else do they have in here? Well, then DX1 or DXT3 or whatever. I guess DXT5, from what I've been told, is better. Anyway, this 2D texture thing, the only thing I've ever gotten there is Cube Map and Volume Tech. I have no idea what any of that means. Uh, but the most important thing here is to make sure that Generate Mint Maps is, is selected. So anyway, uh, I'm going to click on that. And... And it's still saving, but the one thing that uh, differs in Photoshop and Paint, Paint.net actually wants to flatten this whole thing. But Photoshop uh, doesn't do that. So now, to be honest, I'm, I think I already saved, yeah. So I won't close it out because I probably have to do some editing. But normally I would just go from there over to ATS Studio. Uh, Okay, now, very important here, because <laughs> I've done this, and if you don't do this right and do the mistake that I made, you can crash your game. And what will happen, or what caused my game to crash, is see right here, Freightliner Cascadia. That's not the truck I'm wanting to skin, but I wasn't paying attention, and I skinned that truck, and it just caused issues and made my game crash. So you want to make sure here that you have Outlaw Peterbilt, 379 and you want to have all these green from what they tell me now the X means that you know something is just not there okay so let's go get the truck skin okay we hit browse okay and since uh, let's see desktop is where I put the folder and you'll just see you'll see why I put everything on the desktop because wow look I found it really easy and I go up here to this folder oh there's my DDS I click open. Okay, now you see that it turned green, so it says, ah, I'm happy with that. Uh, now I'm going to go over here back to the base truck, make sure I always double check. Okay, it is my outlaw that I'm doing. Go to skin properties. Now, here you can kind of name it what you want. Uh, and since this is Manchester, uh, M A N, and I, they tell me, I don't know, but this should be a lowercase. So I'm going to do it, but I'm going to call it man, and I'll put the lower score. Um, what was that? Let's see. Okay, I'll just call it FC, and oh, I read capitals. FC B for blue. So it's Manchester uh, Football Club blue, and I'm going to just going to copy that. I'm going to do paste. Okay, now important you need to click airbrush and this here is optional to you uh, this is pretty self-explanatory unlock level now it means what level do you want this skin to be able to unlock well I'm a type I don't want anybody to have to wait to use the dot com thing so I always keep it at zero now I can't see anybody wanting to pay ten thousand dollars for it so I say here you know, I don't know, you might be able to put the zero, but I always put the one. And for me, at least, it works by leaving this set skin of stock ticked. And you don't have to touch anything else in here. Okay, so I always check again. Base truck is checked right. Okay, my skin properties, good. My skin, yep, that's the one I want. Skin mask, don't worry about it. Workshop icon, this is optional. You can use the default, which will be, well, you can see that little paint bucket in there. I went ahead and created my own because I, I just, well, I want to have my own. So let's go up here to, where's my, 
Okay, just kidding. And I got a, 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 see a folder that I put all my stuff in. And there's the one I created for me. Ah, looks good. And let me go back over, oh, the skin properties one more time. I think I copied this, but I'm just gonna make sure and there's, you'll, you'll see why I'm gonna, I, I copy it. Okay, you go up here to export mod. Okay, now your installation of your ATS is probably gonna be on your C drive. I put, I got three drives in my machine. I put it on my, my second drive or my 950 here. So this is where my install is and that's where my mod folder is. So, uh, now remember I copied that, that name in, in the uh, studio. So this is what I'm gonna name the, the mod skin. So man FCB. And then all you have to do is click save. Okay, everything went well. Uh, sometimes an error message will come up here, something goes wrong. I just have to close it out and start it over. Uh, okay, where is my... Oh, here it is. I was looking for my Steam. So now, at this point, we start the game. Okay, go to library, games, play. Oh, I hate all these advertisements. Launch in DirectX. Play. Wait for the game to load. And things are dirty. Oh, wow. Sorry about that. If that blew you out, I didn't expect it to be loud like that. Okay, and then you come over to your mod manager. New mods found. Ah, man, FCB. Now, like I say, there's a, a good possibility that uh, you know everything may not line up, and that happens a lot the very first time. And this is the profile I'm wanting on, and you just have to go back into Photoshop, realign things, and go through the saving process that I did. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go to a truck dealer. Uh, Peter built because that's what the app template is and here's outlaws template there or his truck excuse me now click on here and if I did everything right uh, okay that's the same ah, here it is right here man F's oh it jumped yeah an FCP so let's just see what happens okay well as you can see <laughs> Uh, on the door here, I don't know why that's so huge, but um, okay, it did it on both sides. So that's not a big deal, but you see the problems that you run into. Okay, well, let's see how the top did. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but it's up there. And there's the one that's on the back. And that really is all there is to doing this. Um, and like I say, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I thought that I had sized it. I may have, uh, well, I don't know what I did. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling on. But it's it's just that easy. And let me look at the headlights. Yeah, the headlights are blue. Um, now, one of the things that I'll show you real quick that you may want to consider too. Now, it's... Uh, no, no. Oh, forget that fender burner. Or is that the fender bars? Oh, yeah, it is the lights. Okay. Um, so you got these standard paint LED. So now if you'll notice, it, ah, it colored it the same color as the truck. Uh, now, if you, like, say, sometimes I notice when I put stripes on the front fenders, sometimes it'll carry on over to the... Uh, headlights here. So I'm not 100% sure how to correct that other than maybe actually make a separate layer and color the, the lights on their own. Anyway, uh, yeah, I can say the one thing I don't like is having a stupid, I can't see them clicking. No, I don't want, want to. 
I'm just okay. Well, I can't uh, unclick this stuff here because I can't see what I'm doing here. Ah, okay, cool. But anyhow, uh, that's yeah, that's really it, guys. So I would just go back into Photoshop. I would condense this down to where it it fit properly. Uh, but the rest of it actually uh, didn't do too bad. Um, and yeah, the fenders will come out blue. The tank, if you choose painted, will come out blue. Uh, so anyway, well, I'm going to see if I can figure out how to... Oh, wait, I think I actually see the icons now. Yeah, I do. Okay. So I am going to try to find out how to get out of here. I can't see the thing. Ah, oh, here we go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get out of here. And uh, I know this wasn't the greatest tutorial. I don't teach very well. I'm trying to learn all this stuff myself. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I hope this was helpful. And as soon as I can get out of here and stop the video, I, I will. So, you guys have a great day. And if this helps, give it a like. If it doesn't, then tell me how your video sucked, which I, I agree. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Okay. See you later.